So the A Jotelin chase is next. And this is a three mile, three furlong event. And it's a grade one again. At the top we've got Crackled for Alex Cherry. Q card for David Hooley, Geraldo, Darren Thompson, Master of Shadows, Joshua Sutherland, Obsidian Shard, Leon Van Rensburg, Hard Class Judith, David Robertson, Bronwell Killin for David Robertson again, Catherine the Great, Paul Rhodes, Clara Belgram, Clitterbuck, Found Her Voice, Leon Van Rensburg, Landlark, Craig Beckwith, Magical Times, David Hooley, and Quake, Paul Rhodes. So we'll Found Her Voice to another performance like last week in again. Uh, where we go? We'll wait to find out. That's to We'll watch the race and see, and it's found her voice has gone straight into the lead and gets to that first fence, and they're all safely over it. So, sort of themselves out there now. They've got 24 to take all together, so 23 more to take as they get to the second. And Landlark has now gone off into the lead for Craig Beckwith in those blue colours with the yellow with the white sleeves. Crackled now in second, they're on the far side with the orange sleeves. The field is pretty tightly grouped, with the exception of this leader, Landlark, who's already opened up by a good five. And Crackle is just about second, with Q card third, and found her voice is in fourth, and Clara Bell as they get to the third. And they'll skip over to third with magical times, just a bat marker at this very early stage of the race. And Landlark into the fourth. Slow jump by the horse in second, Q card, but the rest of them are travelling so sort of sedately that they haven't even managed to overtake Q card despite that mistake. So the pace is pretty slow, I would suggest. With Landlark, a good eight lengths clear. Oh, Q card in second, Quakes moved through into third, Master of Shadows is fourth, then found her voice just dropping into the pack a little bit as they get over the water. With Bronwyn killing the new back marker for David Robertson. Turquoise and maroon hoops. When it's landlock, pops over the sixth in front. Found her voice is now just poked ahead back up into second again. Clara Bell's getting a little bit closer. One that's quite wide on the track is Geraldo. Also quite wide, Catherine the Great. And the first of the David Ross and horses, the grey hard class Judith. As they get to the seventh. So for the over the seventh with the leader continuing to be landlock and that lead a steady eight lengths. You found her voice and Clara Bell there clear of the remainder in a share of second. With club with Q card just behind him in fourth. And that one's being joined by its table. What magical times has moved through from the back to take much closer order. Crackled in the orange sleeves is on the inside as they get over the ninth. And a good jump there by the green sleeved Quake. I've seen that one. Jump up alongside the two David Hooley horses and the second of the Paul Rose horses. Coming around the outside, Catherine the Great jumping on a little bit slowly though. And Geraldo is also making a bit of a forward move. So the field beginning to bunch a little more now with Landlark's lead down to a little more than four or five. Found her voice was a bit ponderous at that one. And Clara Bell on the inside and Crackle on the outside almost making a line of three to share second with Geraldo and Magical Times and Catherine the Great and Quake and then Master of Shadows and then Obsidian Shard and then Q Card who's dropped back considerably and the two David Robertson horses are at the back Bronwyn Killian and the Grey Hard Class Judith but it's Landlark who leads them round this left handed turn a long way still to travel and the lead is getting back up to the sixth length Stage again, I would say, from Clara Bell in second. Crackled is third, found her voice is fourth, then Geraldo as they get over the 13th. Jumping's been pretty good so far. There's one or two slight mistakes, but nothing serious. And Landlark continues to lead with a mile and a half still to go. Gets over the 14th, and there's a fall of edges. As I said, the jumping was good. Magical Times is the one that's gone, so Magical Times has crashed out of it. Uh, that one, 
and Landlock continues to lead. Clara Bell Borrell on nicely in second. Crackle has got into third now. Found her voice back in fourth. Geraldo and Obsidian Shard trying to get up the inside. Q Card's also going to try and get back up into on the inside as well as they take the water again. And Landlock continues to lead, but they're queuing up behind like the six or seven in a line share in second. And there's a couple more pulleys behind them, and then three more pulleys behind them. So it's pretty good. Pretty tight, and it's going to be a pretty good finish, I would suggest. But Landlock is the leader at the moment and continues to lead by about four now. Obsidian Shard has moved through into second. Stable Mate found her voice trying to cover the move in third. Clara Bell on the inside. Q Card coming back into it now. Then Crackled and Quake and Catherine are great as they get over the 17th. And there's a crash in full there for Found Her Voice. She's crashed out of the race. That's twice in three weeks. But Found Her Voice has fallen the other time she won. And Leon said to me the other day that she'd fallen once now and she wouldn't fall again. So I'm sure he's going to be bitterly disappointed about that. But they get over the 19th. And Clara Bell has taken the lead. Clara Bell's gone on then from Landlock in second. Obsidian Shell. Is third, Q card is four, and then comes hard class. Judith, who's now making a forward move, then comes Bronwyn killing. Quake is after that. Catherine a great next, and Geraldo's lost its place. And the one that's dropped right out of it is Master of Shadows. Oh, and he's crashed out there. Another one's gone. The leader, Clara Bell, has crashed out. We'll run straight into that one then, with four more fences still to take there, and all of a sudden it's getting pretty dramatic. Over the fourth class they go, and Landlark is in the lead from hard class Judith, who's come through from absolutely nowhere and has now come through to take it up so it's our class judith who's gone on into the lead from landlock in second obsidian shard is next then comes q garden catherine a great over a third last and the gray hard class judith is now three or four clear obsidian Shard is trying to chase. Landlock is starting to look tight. Q card is still there. Bronwyn Killing is trying to run on. So too is Quake. Master of Shadows has been pulled up at the back. But it's our class Judith who graces towards the final two fences then. With a lead of about three lengths from Obsidian Shard in second. Then comes Q card and Landlock over the second last they go. And our class Judith jumped in nicely. But Q card is getting closer. So too is Obsidian Shard. And it's Q card who goes on. Q card from Obsidian Shard. They're racing down towards the final fence over and they're going to better jump by Obsidian Shard and Obsidian Shard gets into the lead Q Card is trying to fight back they're inside the final furlong it's Obsidian Shard on this near side Q Card on the far side there's nothing between the two of them as they race up towards the line in there it's Obsidian Shard on this side probably just in the lead but Q Card is fighting back and they flash past the post and I can't separate them Landlock was third and Catherine the Great ran on quite well but what a dramatic race and that is close. That's probably as close to a dead heat as you'll see, I think. It says Q card on there, but depending on what the angle is, we'll take a look. And we'll wait and see. It is a dead heat. I thought it was a dead heat. Q card for David Hooley and Obsidian Shard for Leon van Rensburg then, so it's a dead heat in the pre hay Jocelyn chase, a grade one dead heat, Landlock for Craig Beckwith was third, Crackled for Alex J was fourth, and Odd Class Judith for David Robertson was fifth, a dramatic race there, found her voice, who Leon thinks is the, still thinks he's the best chaser he's had, has fallen twice now, so it's going to be a wide open Gold Cup division, I think, this season with a look at these races that we're getting so far. Q Card and Obsidian Shard coming out on top today.